What's up ka weather? Ako po si Benison Estareja, isang weather forecaster and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit different from my previous ones because I will be sharing my own personal experience as a meteorologist or weather forecaster and towards the end of my video, I'll be sharing also some advice and tips sa mga nagnanais din na maging weather forecaster like myself. So you better stick around. Yung dream ko na maging weather forecaster started around 20 years ago habang nasa elementary pa lamang ako at lagi kong napapanood noon sa TV si Ka Ernie Baron no? siya yung pinakasikat na weatherman during that time at lagi ko siyang nakita nagbabalita ng panahon nagtuturo ng mga clouds at ng mga ulan sa TV at napafascinate at na-inspire din ako na maging katulad niya kaso naglaho na rin yung dream ko na yon simula nung tumuntong ako nung high school kasi una, hindi ko alam kung paano maging weather forecaster and second, yung mga high school classmates ko Pinipili nila maging engineer, iba maging teacher, maging nurse, at wala ni isa sa kanila yung gusto maging weather reporter. So I ended up joining yung mga kaklase ko na gusto maging engineer. Pagdating ng college, that was year 2005, I took up electronics engineering sa isang university sa Lokban, Quezon with my high school classmates. And the reason kung bakit tinake up yung EZE is because marami palang opportunities na pwede kang pasukan after you finish ECE. Pwede kang mag-end up sa mga TV or radio stations, mag-work sa telecoms or sa IT, and many others. Overall, I find ECE challenging pero enjoyable naman kasi favorite ko ang math at never sumagi sa isip ko during that time na magsishift ako ng ibang course. So in 2010, I graduated in college and in 2011 naman, nakapasa na ako ng ECE board exam. After kong pumasa ng exam, nag-apply na ako sa IT company, sa manufacturing, sa TV and radio stations. Nakakapasa naman ako sa mga exams at saka dun sa mga initial interview. Pero pagdating dun sa final interview, naliligwak ako. So dumating talaga sa point na naghahanap din ako ng work in other fields such as construction, sales and marketing. Tapos nag-apply din ako dun sa university na pinag-aralan ko ng college as an instructor. So technically parang 3 months akong jobless at saka naghahanap talaga ng trabaho. Then one day, tumawag yung HR ng aming university and then she said na tanggap na nga ako as an instructor dun sa engineering department. At first I was very hesitant kasi never kong ma-imagine na magiging teacher ako sa sobrang introverted and mahihain ko during that time. Yes, nag-apply ako but I consider that as my last option. But naisip ko kasi na parang hmm, wala na akong mahanap na ibang trabaho and kailangan ko na rin makapag-provide sa family. So might as well take the job offer. Habang nag-aasikaso ako ng requirements for the instructor position, biglang nag-text sa akin yung college classmate ko na itago natin sa pangalang Ann and she was telling me na sumali kami or mag-apply kami sa meteorology training course or MTC ng pag-asa. Tinanong ko siya, ano naman tong MTC na to? Tapos sabi niya, ito daw ay libre yung patraining ng pag-asa para sa mga gusto maging meteorologist at magkaroon ng regular position sa government. Then ako naman, parang dinedma ko lang siya kasi ang hanap ko talaga ay trabaho at hindi yung babalik na naman ako sa pag-aaral tapos sarili ko na naman gastos. So sabi ko sa kanya next time na lang. From 2011 to 2013, naging isang kagalang-galang ako na guro at uh, from being someone na tahimik at mahiyain, na-develop yung communication skills ko. No? Natuto ako makisalamuha sa ibang tao at na-develop yung confidence ko. At masasabi ko that I was at the right place at the right time at wala akong naging pagsisisi. Pagdating ng 2013, nagkaroon ng usap-usapan sa faculty na ang lahat ng instructors ay required na daw na mag-take ng master's degree in engineering. Doon ako nagsimula magkaroon ng doubts about my career path kasi inisip ko kapag nag-take ako ng master's degree in engineering, then baka mag ako sa pagtuturo. So pagdating ng summer vacation, I started looking for jobs online. Apply dito, apply doon. I was being desperate na kasi I have to find a job bago pa uli magsimula ang pasukan and try other fields naman in ECE. Then one day, timing na naman kasi nag-text na naman sa akin itong college classmate ko na si Ann, kinumusta ko siya. Then ang sabi niya, okay naman siya, nakatapos na siya ng meteorologist training course at meron na siyang regular position sa pag-asa. Kinumusta niya rin ako, then sabi ko, eto, I have to leave my teaching post kasi nire-require na kami na mag-master's degree and I could not afford it. Then sabi niya sa akin, baka ito na yung time na mag-apply ka na sa pag-asa kasi meron na namang training course na opening, hydrologist training course. Then ang tanong ko naman, hydrologist, akala ko ba meteorologist ang hinahanap ng pag-asa? Then sabi naman ni Ann, 
Pagasa kasi is looking now for people na magmo-monitor ng mga dams at ng mga river centers na itatayo nila. So they are looking for flood forecasters and hydrologists. Dumating na naman ako dun sa point kung saan nang hinayang ako that I should have taken the meteorologist training course with her in 2011 had I known na ito palang 2013 ang magiging available ay yung hydrologist training course. On one side naman, I was thinking that maybe I was meant to be a hydrologist and not a meteorologist. Kaya pinush ko na rin yung pag-apply sa hydrologist training course at tingnan natin kung hanggang saan patungo yung karyer ko. Just in time naman na nag-take ako ng entrance exam sa hydrologist training course at nalaman ko na nakapasa ako, sinabi ko agad dun sa head ng engineering that I will be resigning at buti naman tinanggap nila. When I started the training, sobrang nakakapanibago kasi I was with 30 plus other trainees na karamihan mga bisaya at nasa iisang bahay lamang kami. Pangalawa, balik na naman ako sa paninirahan sa Maynila kung saan sobrang traffic at sobrang siksikan ng mga tao. Pangatlo, maliit lang yung monthly allowance na nakukuha ko so kailangan talaga na magtipid. At panghuli, parang balik na naman ako sa pagiging student kasi parang classroom setting yung training. For 11 months, I had to study lessons in river discharge, fluid mechanics, and water management na sobrang kakaiba sa electronics engineering. But of course, I had to push through kasi marami akong sinacrifice for this training, yung buhay ko sa probinsya, yung trabaho ko, at yung career ko as an ECE. So ayun na nga, after 11 months, finally natapos ko na rin yung hydrologist training course. Nakagraduate na kami mga trainees, naging close na kami sa isa't isa, at napabilang din ako sa top 10. Top 10? Top 10. Base kasi sa mga nagdaang mga training, kung sino yung napabilang sa top 10, sila yung mabibigyan ng priority to get the regular position. Kaya naman at that time, excited na rin ako na magkaroon ng regular position as a hydrologist kahit technically hindi siya ganun ka-related sa electronics engineering. So a few days after graduation, umuwi muna ako ng probinsya para magbakasyon habang naghihintay ng appointment. Pagdating ko sa amin, I immediately got an email from HR that says that I was chosen for a weather specialist position sa weather division. So sabi ko, sa weather division? Kasi akala ko sa hydrology division ako maa-assign. So I had to ask her again and clarify because ang natapos ko ay hydrologist training course. Then she explained na wala pa kasing available na positions for the hydrology division habang ginagawa pa yung mga river centers. And then sinabi niya sa akin na urgently needed na nga ng mga weather forecasters because I think that was the time na maraming weather forecaster from Pagas ang nag-resign at nag-abroad. So kailangan muna nilang mag-take ng HTC graduates at i-absorb in different divisions sa Pagasa and it so happened na napapunta ko sa weather forecasting section. Kinalarify naman ng chief weather forecaster that I will be assisted for the first few months by a senior forecaster. And sabi nga nila, the rest was history. I became the weather forecaster that I am now. Siguro nung bata ako at nung sinabi ko na gusto ko maging weather forecaster, narinig lang yun ng universe 12 years later. And fast forward to 7 years, sobrang dami nang nangyari. I've had several interviews with media personalities, I was able to go to different places, and I just got promoted last year. Kaya naman sobrang thankful ako for having this job na I can genuinely say na masaya ako at gusto ko rin maranasan ng mga taong gustong maging katulad ko. Ever since naging weather forecaster ako, I've seen lots of messages from people saying na gusto rin nilang maging meteorologist at magtrabaho sa pag-asa. For the high school students, build your foundation by focusing on the STEM strand or the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Then sa mga nakatapos na ng college at nag-take na ng courses na hindi related sa meteorology such as nursing, HRM, or business management, try to have units in differential equation or calculus and 6 units in chemistry as well as in physics. Once you finish your undergraduate courses with the prescribed subjects, then you can apply for a meteorologist training course. It did not say na kailangan board passer ka or civil service exam passer ka for you to take MTC. So it's safe to assume na hindi siya required. However, given na sobrang dami talagang interested at marami ang apply for a training, it is definitely an advantage. Siyempre, we want to stand out among the applicants. At kapag dumating yung time na i-deliberate na yung mga nominees for a position, then mataas ang chance na mapili ka kung meron kang Latin honors or meron kang civil service eligibility. I also get messages from some people na sinasabi masyadong mataas ang meteorology for them dahil hindi sila ganun kagaling sa math. Meteorology is not all math, just to let you know. And just like in my previous video, ito ay isang skill na nahahasa naman at na-improve. 
I even know someone na bumagsak sa math ng college Pero ngayon ay meteorologist na So masasabi natin na mas mangingibabo pa rin ang passion mo over academics My last advice is sobrang cliche Gamit na gamit na Pero it happened to me And that is you have to trust the process Nung nasa college ako Lagi kong sinasabi that in 5 years, I will be working as an engineer in a telecoms company or a TV station. Meteorology was not in my mind and never would have I guessed that I will end up as a meteorologist. Every event na nangyayari sa buhay natin is part of the process that will lead us to what will make us happy. So dapat nating pahalagahan yung events na yun. Step out of your comfort zone and enjoy the ride. At dyan muna natatapos ang video na to. Hopefully, na-inspire din kayo na pumasok sa larangan ng meteorology and who knows, baka maging magkatrabaho tayo in the near future. Till next time mga ka-weather!